Welcome to Outstanding! Hey! Well, damn. You're cool. <laughs> That's real nice. I'm Bobby Higley. I am your host for this evening. This shall be fun. Before we get excited and before we get to the good stuff, we should thank our sponsors. Woo! Everybody give it up. Give it up to the Timber Room for hosting us. Yeah! Give it up to AHF for prize sponsorship. Yeah! And lastly, give it up to Queer Space Magazine for putting on us crazy queers. Nice, nice. Well, welcome to the show. You at home, vote. That's important. The way you're going to do that is by looking into your comment section or below the video to find out how. Make sure you vote for your favorite queer comic, the people in this audience. Woo! And they already know how to vote. They're going to be doing a great job. But before we get to introducing comedians, I should introduce myself. I am uh, damaged. <laughs> That's true. I want to tell you about this kinky thing I did. So I dated an older man. That's not the kinky part. Anybody dated somebody at least 15 years older than them? Yeah. Did you discover kinks because of that? Yeah. I know. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, my ex came home once, and he came home with this box, this big Amazon box, and I was real nervous, and I was like, what's happening? And he was like, don't worry. And I was like, when you say that, I worry. Uh, and he was like, it's fine. And he opened it up, and it was a big box of Depends. Yeah, adult diapers. And I was like, I was like, what's happening? And he was like, not what you think. And I was like, okay, I thought we were going to have fun. <laughs> and he was like, no, we're going we're gonna, to, we're going to. Uh, so I've had this thing where I've always wanted to go to a bar and then just pee. And I was like, bet? Okay, cool. <laughs> so we went to this local bar. We went to Deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> Seattle people, you know Deluxe on the corner of Broadway and Roy. <laughs> we went that specific place. <laughs> At this specific time. <laughs> And I sat down in the bar, and I was really good friends with the bartender. The bartender called me Juicy Booty, uh, <laughs> which is inaccurate. <laughs> like a dried date of an ass, and that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. So we were sitting at the bar, and I looked at the bartender. The bartender's name is Josiah. He's a friend of mine. And he was like, what's going on? And I was like, nothing. And he's like, what? And I was like, <laughs> And I was like, I'm peeing. <laughs> and he was like, stop. <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> and this is the best way I could possibly imagine introducing the next comedian. <laughs> Everybody put your hands together, your hearts together, and every piece of your anatomy together for D. Martin Austin! Wow, you are way too excited. Okay, now I'm uncomfortable. It's okay. How are we doing tonight, Seattle? Good, good. I am also doing very woo. My, par <laughs> My partner and I, we recently celebra celebrate our one-year anniversary. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we broke up a few days later. <laughs> because some traditions are important to keep, okay? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I am pretty heartbroken about it, though, because... I don't know that I can replace this particular lover, okay? Because we had very similar genders, similar body types, identical faces, and it was the best sex I ever had. Seriously, anyone else ever been dicked down by your doppelganger? It's amazing. And 
It's also a little narcissistic because what I'm really telling you is every other sexual experience I've had has been amazing, spectacular, had it not been for the other participant. You know, like, <laughs> had they just been another copy of me, perfect. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> The thing is, I didn't think my partner and I looked that much alike at first because we're both black and I live in Portland, so most of our friends are white and their opinions can't be trusted. But, <laughs> but then my own brother, my own flesh and blood contacted me and told me that we look like twins, which means more coming from my brother because we also look like twins. And I also understand if you're following this entire narrative, it might sound like I want to have sex with my brother and that is not true <laughs> at all. <laughs> It's a little difficult for me to admit, but honestly, it's probably for the best that I was an assumed female at birth because I would be a monster. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if half the men I had met from puberty up till now had been willing to buy me things in hopes of having sex with me, I would have destroyed all your lives. Seriously, immediately, I would not be able to stop myself. And anytime I say this, I need to be very clear that I understand the majority of women have no desire at all to exploit or manipulate men for financial gain. But I would, and it's not always about you, okay? I just happen to know myself and my own personal strengths and weaknesses, all right? Like I'm good at buying cute outfits. I'm good at selecting the most expensive drink on a menu. I have almost no gag reflex. And I can fit a fist up my ass up to the elbow. I just don't like clocking in for work. So I was born to be a housewife is what I'm saying. And Here's the thing, I gotta get the dicks and dollars while I can because I'm not gonna be this cute forever, okay? Like, I realize I still have the lower body of a very attractive young woman, but increasingly the upper body of a middle-aged single father with chronic depression, and that shit don't sell, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't. What strikes me as odd is that some people still get uneasy about sex work, and that's very strange to me because we've all done a little bit of sex work from time to time, right? Come Think about it this way. You go on two Tinder dates in one week. Suitor one takes you to Taco Bell, has you pay for half of everything. <laughs> Suitor two takes you to a fancy restaurant you can't afford and pays for half the meal. Pays for all of it, in fact. Leaves a tip. All else being equal, which of these two are you more likely to let put a finger in your booty hole? Obviously, suitor number two, all right? And that doesn't make you a slut or a gold digger or anything silly like that. That makes you an economist, okay? <laughs> Other people are going to college right now to learn what you already know intrinsically. <laughs> I am proud of you, and I hope your parents are proud of you, okay? Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> I have been doing this long enough to know that any time I perform, a certain percentage of the audience will spend my entire set attempting to decipher my sexuality, and that took me over 30 years, so I like to save people the trouble. I, I am queer, more specifically trans, more specifically non-binary, which is a mathematic term, meaning I don't care what you think. <laughs> Although I did have a, a strangely affirming experience recently in a bathroom of all places. I was in the men's room, or as I like to call it, the close enough room. <laughs> and I was standing at the urinal with the front of my skirt up like you do when you're a proper lady. And <laughs> this older gentleman walks in, sees me, apologizes, immediately leaves and walks right into the ladies room. <laughs> which I also call the close enough room. So. <laughs> When I come out, he's just sitting at a bar stool, shaking his head in confusion. <laughs> and I fell for him. I really did. I fell for him because I also know how confusing it is to not know which bathroom to use. So, so, <laughs> so I just put a hand on his shoulder in solidarity. We're best friends now. Everything's fine. You're beautiful. I love you. Have a good night. together put your hands together put all your things together whether it's change whether it's money whether it's your hands whether it's anything but Claire Weber <laughs> Hi. 
Hello, hello, hello. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm a girl that likes boys and girls. Which is just entry-level Seattle. No, you move to this city and they assign you a polycule and give you a septum piercing. You don't know what is up and what is down. Everyone listens to Melissa Etheridge and it's hard. It's hard out there. I do. I actually I identify as bisexual, but I like boys, girls, and whatever have you. I'm not attracted to what body you're in. I'm just attracted to your soul. And if you make more money than me, <laughs> that's all I care about. No, but I am a conventionally attractive redhead queer woman who's marrying a tall, straight, white man. <laughs> So I am the problem. <laughs> and I know this. Some of my friends are like, Claire, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I'm also really kinky. And technically, by marrying a white man, I am in love with the most dangerous thing there is. <laughs> yeah, I am in love with the thing statistically most likely to kill me. <laughs> it's like fucking a loaded gun. <laughs> It's great. And now I am technically in a mixed relationship because I am incredibly kinky and he is tolerant. <laughs> but like just barely. <laughs> like the other night we were coming home from a party and I got a little frisky. And I hollered out while we were making out in our apartment foyer, let's pretend you roofied my drink. <laughs> Which is not okay in this political climate. Like, at all. So we had a conversation. <laughs> we had a long talk about boundaries. Yeah, consent is sexy, especially when it's you pushing your needs on your partner. And so we figured out what I was looking for, so he said, ooh, baby. The drinks sure were strong there, weren't they? And I say, yeah, and I can't believe they didn't ID a middle schooler, Uncle Dave. <laughs> and then we had to stop again. <laughs> like, my fiance thinks I'm too demanding in bed, but there is no reason that he can't be a corrupt cop and my stepbrother at the same time. <laughs> like, how hard is it? Hands where I can see him, sis. Step out of the car and don't tell mom. <laughs> and he's like, Claire, this makes me incredibly uncomfortable. And I'm like, that's the point, officer brother. Now slap on the cuffs and let's reminisce about Christmas as children. All right, so I'm assuming that all y'all are just kinky, right? Like. Sorry, but for those of you that are like, what the hell is wrong with these people? Sometimes you are aroused by something that sits at a perfect intersection between fear and sexuality. And me, I am terrified of police brutality and happy families. <laughs> I'm crazy in bed because I'm crazy all the time. <laughs> but it's fun crazy. <laughs> like one time, I was hooking up with this person, and while they were sleeping, I snuck into their kitchen and peeled all the labels off of their canned goods. <laughs> Is it peaches? <laughs> Is it <gasps> SpaghettiOs? <laughs> I don't know, baby. <sighs> Let's find out together. <laughs> it was dog food. <laughs> Thanks, good night. One more.
more time for dog food! And Claire Weber! Oh my god, you guys are so amazing! I make sure to vote and thanks again to those sponsors! God damn it, y'all are great! Have a good night!